Well, it's all started. Me and my friend were in Manhattan with Moo. Then he asked the bartender there. Gee, I got my girlfriend out in the out in the car there. Can I bring her in? She's a little young. Bartender, sure. He goes out and br brings Moo in. Everybody got a big, big laugh about it. They treated us all to a drink, and they bought Moo a drink. She likes a beer. She likes it right off the tap. Nice cold beer right off the tap. It was a great enjoyment to see to see Moo, see the reactions of Moo, because the first time I took Moo in the bar, too, was her first time, and, and then she really reacted to it like she was an old bar hen for many years. Moo, to me, is one trustworthy animal. I get along with her better than I get along with people. I don't think she thinks of herself as a goat at all. She's a person. She's not an animal. She's a person. You're attributing to them human characteristics which they don't have. They're not human. They're animals. But they are like people. They're very human. They're not people. They're animals. I always thought Parrot was one of the most funny creatures, you know. And that's why I, I start to design different costumes for different characters. I ever create about 250 costumes. She makes every Yankee jealous now. Sure. <laughs> They look so comical, especially when they walk around. Make them look like they have arms, you know, and, and like, like they move like uh, real people. No, just leave her alone, that's all. She does, we, uh, just, we all live together. What do you call it, symbiosis? <laughs> <laughs> She'll just go stopping by, you know, walk over there and then go the other way. She's dependent on me, obviously, but she's equal. She's not, uh, you can't call her a pet. She lives here. Has her uh, habits in place. And, uh, we make way. We just all live together. As a matter of fact, roaches and everything else in this place. I can go as long as three days without feeding them. Gobble, 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 chomp, 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 chomp for about two, three hours, and it's all gone. The Bronx Zoo originated the idea with the... Uh, they have a thunderstorm in their reptile house for the crocodile pit. So I just decided to try it and put her in there. And then I turn the shower on, give her a big heavy downpour. And turn the light on a few times, off and on, to simulate light. I think it works. Uh, she seems to be very excited by it, and then uh, relaxed. And then, uh, and then I have to dry her very carefully. Because uh, <coughs> tortoise's principal disease are chest colds, believe it or not. And uh, So I, I think there is something to it. I think the thunder shower is necessary for uh, her happiness. They do need... Uh, same sort of stimulation, excitement that they had in Africa.